Turn off the engine and set the park brake. Roll up the windows and close the doors. Open the fuel cabinet door on the vehicle. The shutoff valve remains in the open position during the fueling process. Remove the dust cap from the fill receptacle. Observe the gray O-ring inside the receptacle. The O-ring must be in place without cuts or damage to provide a pressure-tight seal. There are two gauges on the vehicle. Tank pressure is the gauge on the left. Engine delivery pressure is the gauge on the right. Remove the fill nozzle from the pump and connect it to the vehicle fill receptacle. Pull the plastic release collar toward you about a half inch as you push the fill nozzle onto the vehicle's fill receptacle. Turn the black knob on the fill nozzle to the fill position. Rotate the metal dispenser handle on the pump to the right fuel position. Walk to the card reader, insert the fuel card and other necessary information. The screen will say, start fueling, once you have entered the correct information. The dispenser will beep as it begins fueling. At the dispenser, the gallon meter will reset to zero and fueling will begin. You'll hear a loud rushing sound. The pressure gauge on the pump will drop as filling begins. Filling will take a few minutes. When the tank is full, you'll hear a beep from the dispenser. Flip the metal lever on the pump. Rotate the valve on the fill nozzle to the vent position. Pull the plastic collar on the nozzle toward you and remove the fill nozzle from the vehicle. There's a sender on the fill system that translates the tank pressure into an electrical signal that operates the fuel gauge in the cab. The fuel gauge in the dash will indicate full tanks once the truck ignition key is used after the filling process is complete.